Hi everyone, welcome to part two of the Blu-ray collection. We'll get straight back into it. Maximum Risk. Memento. Microwave Massacre. The Mighty Peking Man, another of the 88 films Asia range. The Mist. Mongol. Monsters. Monsters Inc. and Monsters University Moonlight More Than Honey My Neighbour Totoro, another Miyazaki film Natural Born Killers, Steelbook The Never Ending Story The Night of the Hunter on the Arrow Academy range The Nightmare on Elm Street Collection so in this set we've got seven of the films. So we've got the original A Nightmare on Elm Street from Wes Craven. And then the sequel, uh, A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. The third film, uh, Dream Warriors. The fourth, The Dream Master. The fifth, The Dream Child. Uh, the sixth film, which is Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. And then the seventh, which is Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Ninja Assassin. Ninja Scroll, Steelbook, which is another Japanese anime. No Escape. The Oceans Trilogy, so you've got Oceans 11, Oceans 12 and Oceans 13. Old Boy, Steelbook, which is a uh, fantastic Korean thriller from director Park Chan-wook. Olympus Has Fallen. Once We're Warriors which is a powerful drama from New Zealand. The Orphanage, which is a uh, creepy Spanish horror. Outrage, which is a Japanese Yakuza film. Pandorum. Pan's Labyrinth, which is a Spanish masterpiece from Guillermo del Toro. Passengers. Paths of Glory. Paycheck, Disney's Peter Pan, Phenomena, this is another great release from Arrow, so it's got the original Italian and international version of Phenomena, and it's got the American cut which was renamed Creepers, and also a book about the film. Philadelphia, Phoenix, which is a German drama. Now, this is a Swedish uh, comedy drama. It's called A Pigeon Sat on a Branch Reflecting on Existence. It's from uh, Roy Anderson. Disney's Pinocchio. Piranha. Uh, this is the 2010 remake. The Pirates of the Caribbean collection. So this set contains The Curse of the Black Pearl. Uh, Dead Man's Chest, At World's End, and On Stranger Tides. Pompeii. Ponyo, which is another Japanese Miyazaki film. Possession, which is a uh, truly great horror film. Pray for Death. The Predator trilogy, so this contains Predator, Predator 2, and Predators. Uh, another Japanese anime from Hayao Miyazaki. This is Princess Mononuki. Project X. A Prophet. Uh, this is a French uh, like gangster drama. The Protector. Uh, this is a Thai martial arts film with Tony Jaa. Uh, it was released in the UK as The Warrior King. Pulp Fiction. Uh, probably my favourite Tarantino film. Here we've got The Raid and The Raid 2. Uh, these are some of my favourite martial arts action films. Uh, both of them star an actor called Iko Uwais and he's absolutely fantastic in these films. Ran, which is another Japanese masterpiece from Akira Kurosawa. Rare Exports, uh, A Christmas Tale, which is a, a film from Finland. 
Red Cliff, which is a Chinese epic from John Woo. The Remains of the Day. Repo Men. Requiem for a Dream, a uh, steelbook. Now, this is a masterpiece from Darren Aronofsky. Uh, it is a depressing film, though, so if you haven't seen it, you have been warned. Reservoir Dogs, uh, this is another Tarantino classic. Retaliation, uh, this is another Japanese Yakuza film uh, brought to us from Arrow. The Revenant, uh, this is probably my favourite film that I've seen so far from Inaritu. Rikkyo, the story of Ricky. Uh, this is a, a live action manga and it's absolutely crazy but fantastic. Rise of the Foot Soldier, uh, this is a, a British Cockney gangster film, a uh, steelbook version. So here we've got Robocop, the original Paul Verhoeven 80s classic, and then the remake. The Rock, steelbook from Michael Bay. The Rocket, uh, this is officially the only film in my collection which is from Lao. Rollerball, The Rules of Attraction, Runaway Train. Here we've got Rurouni Kenshin part two and three. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm missing part one. Uh, I'd like to get the steel book as soon as I find it at a good price. This is another Criterion release. It's the Samurai trilogy. Uh, so it's got the first film, which is Mushashi Miyamoto, uh, the sequel which is Duel at Ichigoji Temple and then the third film which is Duel at Genryu Island. This is Saturday Night and Sunday Morning from director Carol Reese. It's a uh, British kitchen sink drama from the 1960s. Saving Private Ryan. A Scene at the Sea. Uh, this is a Japanese Comedy drama from Takeshi Kitano. Scarface with Al Pacino. Schindler's List from Steven Spielberg. The Scream Trilogy. So this contains the first three films. Uh, I haven't got part four yet. I haven't even seen part four yet. Maybe I'll get around to that at some point in the future. Seven, which is an excellent film from David Fincher. The Steven Seagal Collection. So this collection's got five of his films. Uh, it contains Under Siege and Under Siege 2, Hard to Kill, Nico Above the Law and Executive Decision. Uh, this is The Secret of Kells. It's a beautifully animated film from Ireland from director Tom Moore. The Shallows. The Shawshank Redemption, Shivers from David Cronenberg, uh, this is another great Arrow release. This is the Showa box set. So this is an absolutely great release from the Masters of Cinema series from Eureka. Uh, it contains the full length documentary which is Showa. Uh, which itself is about nine hours in length. And then it's got four feature films from Claude Landsman afterwards. So we've got uh, A Visitor from the Living, Sobibor, October 14th, 1943, 4pm, uh, The Karski Report, and The Last of the Unjust. And then, of course, it's got a, an accompanying booklet as well. Shutter Island, Sicario, Sin City and Sin City 2, A Dame to Kill For. Sin Nombre, uh, this is a brilliant drama from Mexico. The Skin I Live In, uh, this is a pretty dark film from Pedro Almodovar. It's a Spanish film. Skin Trade. Slaughterhouse. Disney's Sleeping Beauty. Slugs. Snatch, this is a British film. Society. 
Son of Soul. Uh, this is a powerful film from Hungary. It uh, won the Academy Award for Best Foreign Film. Song of the Sea. Uh, I highly recommend this if you like animated films. It's absolutely beautiful. It's uh, another Irish animation from director Tom Moore. Source code. The Spartacus Collection. Now, I'm happy to admit that I do actually love this show. Uh, you've got Season 1, Blood and Sand. Uh, the mini-series, which came in second, which is Gods of the Arena, which serves as a prequel. Uh, season 3, technically, which is Vengeance. Uh, and then the final season, which is called War of the Damned. Special ID. Uh, this is another Donnie Yen Chinese martial arts film. Speed. Spider-Man 3. This is actually the first film I got on Blu-ray. It came free with my PlayStation 3, which I bought about 10 years ago. Probably the most famous of Miyazaki's films. Uh, this is Spirited Away. Spotlight. The Star Wars films. So, of course, the box set contains the first six films. So, of course, we've got A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi and the prequels. So we've got A Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. And then we have the more recent The Force Awakens and then the much more recent Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Starship Troopers. Straight Outta Compton. A Street Cat Named Bob and Suicide Squad, the extended cut. Next up is the Supernatural box set. So in this box set we've got the first season, the second season, the third season, the fourth season, the fifth season, the sixth season, the seventh season, and of course the eighth season. The Suspect, uh, this is an action thriller from Korea. Disney's The Sword in the Stone. The Taken films, so we've got parts 1, 2 and 3. And a beautifully twisted horror film from Korea called A Tale of Two Sisters. Now this is probably the jewel in my collection. It's the Andrei Tarkovsky complete box set. So in this collection we've got the seven feature length films that Tarkovsky made during his career. Uh, starting with Ivan's Childhood, Andrei Rubilev, Mirror, Solaris, Stalker, Nostalgia, and The Sacrifice. So this box set also contains a Blu-ray featuring special features from all the films, uh, and also a book which details all the films. Uh, this is truly a fantastic box set from an amazing Russian director. He's probably one of my favourite directors of all times. Um, if you do plan on getting this set, the only word of warning I would say is that unfortunately the uh, quality of Stalker is lacking a little bit. Criterion are planning on bringing a, re a release out, uh, certainly in the UK in the next couple of months. And I'm probably going to have to purchase that because Stalker isn't great. The rest of the films, they look fantastic for their age. Uh, and please don't let it deter you. It, it's, it's a fantastic set. Next up is Taxi. Uh, this is an action comedy from France. Taxi Driver. Uh, this is probably my favourite Scorsese film. So here we've got all five Terminator films, uh, starting with The Terminator and Terminator 2 Judgment Day, uh, Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines, uh, the fourth in the series which is Terminator Salvation and then of course the most recent Terminator Genesis. Uh, I think the James Cameron films Terminator 1 and 2 have for a long time now been some of my favourite films of all time. Here we've got the original 1974 Texas Chainsaw Massacre from Toby Hooper which is an absolute classic of horror films. Uh, we've also got the 2013 sequel of sorts, which is just called Texas Chainsaw. 
Next up is a, uh, a brilliant science fiction horror from John Carpenter, They Live. Thief from Michael Mann. Here we've got The Thing, uh, the two movie box set. So this contains the original John Carpenter classic, which was actually a remake in itself. Uh, but that's a phenomenally good film. Uh, and it also includes the 2011 prequel. This is the Three Flavors Cornetto trilogy. So in this set we've got Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz and World's End. This is the 1960 version of The Time Machine from the HMV Premium Collection. Titanic. And another nuts film from Japan. Uh, this is Tokyo Tribe. It's uh, another Scion Sono film. Top Gun. Total Recall. We've got the 1990 classic from Paul Verhoeven and the remake. The Tournament, Toy Soldiers, and the Toy Story Collection. So in this collection, of course, we've got parts one, two, and three. And Train to Busan. Uh, this is an amazing film from Korea. It's a, uh, a zombie horror film. Train Spotting. The Troll Hunter. Uh, this is a monster film from Norway. True Grit, this is the Coen Brothers remake. True Romance. The Truman Show. This is a uh, fabulous film from Thailand. It's called Uncle Boon Me, who can recall his past lives. Untouchable, which is a French comedy drama. Up, from Disney Pixar. The Usual Suspects, V for Vendetta, Van Gogh, this is a French film uh, from the Masters of Cinema series, Vengeance, uh, this is another Chinese gangster film from Johnny Two. Vengeance of an Assassin, uh, this is a Thai martial arts film, The Void, the Wailing, uh, this is a horror film from Korea. The Walking Dead. So I got this box set several years ago now. Um, it only contains the first two seasons. What I'll probably do is I'll wait for the, the whole show to run its course, sell this and then buy a complete box set. War of the Arrows, uh, this is a Korean film. The Wave. Uh, this is a Norwegian disaster film. White House Down. White Vengeance. This is a Chinese film. Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Willow. Steelbook. The Witch. Wolf Creek and Wolf Creek 2. Wolf Guy. A Japanese film. Another Arrow release. The Wolf of Wall Street, The Woman in Black, and World War Z. Next up we've got the X-Files collector's set. So this collection contains all the uh, seasons from the 90s. So here we've got seasons 1, 2 and 3. Here we've got seasons 4, 5 and 6. And finally, we've got seasons 7, 8 and 9. There is also space for the more recent series. Uh, I just haven't purchased that yet. Last stretch of films now, guys. Uh, here we've got the X-Men films. So the box set contains X-Men, X-Men 2, X-Men The Last Stand, X-Men Origins Wolverine, X-Men First Class, The Wolverine, and X-Men Days of Future Past. And of course uh, there's X-Men Apocalypse there too and I shall be getting Wolverine when it's released over here in the UK. Here we've got Triple X and Triple X The Return of Xander Cage. Yakuza Apocalypse, uh, another film from Takashi Miike. The Yellow Sea, a film from Korea. 
This is called Yura Sarazera Mono, uh, which is basically the Japanese remake of Unforgiven uh, on a steelbook. Zatoichi, uh, which is a Japanese samurai film. This is the version starring K Takashi Kitano. The Zero Theorem. Zombie Holocaust from the 88 Films Italian Collection range. And last but not least, the probably in my opinion the best zombie film ever made, uh, Zombie Flesh Eaters, uh, an Italian film from Lucio Fulci. Right everyone, and that concludes my entire Blu-ray collection as of June 2017. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to uh, comment.